Hey what's going on guys, it's Mike with 3D Printly. In this video today, we're going to be talking about 6 different ways to fix 3D prints that are sticking too well to the bed. So not a lot of people have an issue with trying to get the 3D prints off the bed. Um, there's a few different ways you can do it, some are quite simple, some require like an additional product, some are just like different settings and whatnot. So let's get straight into it. So the first way to fix 3D prints sticking too well to the bed is to use an adhesive material. So that's an extra product like um, a glue stick. You can use a blue painter's tape, which is like, this you just tape that you put in the bed. You can also use hairspray. That basically gives you a connection. Like it gives you another surface to have that's not the bed. So your 3D prints or your extruded material can stick onto that which makes it easier to remove. You can also use like specialized 3D printer adhesives and stuff like, um, and there's one thing called Magigoo, which is like, it's an adhesive that, it's like a gel-like substance kind of thing. And you can use another thing if you use ABS, you can use a thing called ABS slurry. So they're all basically adhesive products or something that gives you like an additional surface to use so it's not going straight onto the bed, right? The next method is to change your bed surface. So some bed surfaces are better than others. If your bed surface is sticking too well, or your 3D prints are sticking too well to the bed surface, then you can just change that over. So there's some good ones to try. You've got the magnetic, flexible build surface. My personal favorite is the PEI. So that's like a metal um, coated surface. I think it's yeah similar to like metal, but it's a really good surface. Um, the 3D prints like release from the in the print bed after they cool down, and the adhesion is really good even without like an adhesive product, right? And there's also a thing called a build tack sheet. So those are quite popular. I don't think I don't really hear about them too much these days, but they do work pretty well. You can buy that on like Amazon or another website. Next method is to calibrate your bed and your first layer. So I think that's mainly, that's mainly to do with leveling. If you're not leveling your print bed too well, then like the squish from the nozzle might be too, might be squishing too well. So you want to basically lower your bed and make sure that it's level properly. So it's not squishing too well into the bed, right? And let's see. You can also get like an auto leveling system, like the BL Touch. I know a lot of people have uh, pretty good results with that, so you can try using something like that if you want. But manual bed leveling works pretty well as well. Now the fourth method is to create a temperature difference between the bed and the print. So yeah, basically you want to adjust your bed temperature, try to lower it um, if it's too high, or you can try to uh, increase it if it's too low so you basically just want to make an adjustment with the temperature and see if that works in terms of actually removing it if you have a removable bed surface i've heard some people basically place it in a freezer or yeah create like a temperature difference so it's easier to remove and another tip is you can use water mixed with isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle and like spray around it and maybe that can help release the print so the fifth method is to reduce your initial layer speed and flow rate so the first layer because it's printed at a low speed um you're using like more material and it's making like a thick a basically a thicker first layer so it sticks better but if it's sticking too well then you can try to reduce your initial layer speed and the flow rate as well so let's see yeah, you got your first layer whip setting in Cura, but your flow rate setting. So you can try to reduce those to make it not stick as well, or to not extrude as much material. And the last thing, you can use a raft or a brim. So that's a setting that's basically like a, like an um, extruded material at the bottom of the print. So you can basically have your print separate from the print bed. Because like um, a bra, Sorry, a brim or a raft is like um, quite flat. It's easier to remove. 
So, and then your 3D print, you can remove from the brim or the raft as well. So those are pretty easy to um, make in your slicer, whether you use Cura, Prusa Slicer or whatever like that. So yeah, those are the six different ways to fix your print bed sticking or your prints sticking to or to the print bed. So hopefully that helps out. All right, thanks. Peace out.